Hey friends, how's it going? Stevie B here. So every month I issue a new challenge to the members of the Production Music Academy and February's challenge is to write a trailer cue and I'm going to be showcasing everyone's work on Wednesday, March 8th. I'm really, really excited about that. Now to coincide with this month's challenge theme, I'm also happy to say that my new trailer music trilogy course is going live on the Academy. This is a complete and total overhaul of my original trailer courses that I made years ago, all completely updated material. Uh, part one is already out, it's live in the Academy. It's all about orchestral trailer music. Uh, part two is hybrid trailer music, so less orchestra, more uh, synth and effects driven material. That's going live this week. And then part three is orchestral remixing, so turning well-known songs into trailers, which is something that I've had a lot of fun uh, doing in the past, and it's led to some really high profile placements for me uh, and some production work. So if you want to know more about these challenges and get involved, uh, if you want to know more about the Academy in general, I'll put that link uh, in the description below. Uh, please go check out some of the course content and the community benefits that come with membership. Uh, I'd love to see you in there. So for today's video, I thought what better way to celebrate the course launch uh, here on the YouTube channel uh, by giving Spitfire Audio's latest release, uh, Albion Colossus, a try and uh, pairing it with some of my favorite trailer libraries. So let me show you what I came up with. So normally for like orchestral type trailer tracks, I would come up with some kind of piano sketch and arrange the track using it. In this case, I took a slightly different approach and uh, I kind of worked on a loop, definitely digging into a lot of the Albion Colossus uh, synth patches, combining that with uh, the Devastator drums and signature sounds. First thing I did was just try to come up with a groove. The loop initially was just the Colossus uh, low string ostinatos and the Colossus Tycos, which sounds like this. Loving the way the low string shorts sound. Combining the Colossus Tycos with Damage 2 uh, bass drums and toms. some rim hits in there as well. And I used the uh, the Devastator Breakout library to plug in just like a simple bass line. I also added some saturation to it. And you can see these spaces uh, in between every two bars here. My idea was to have kind of like a conversational element between what you're hearing right now and some other signature sounds, which I'll show you in a second. I'm using the synth patch called Crestfallen from Colossus. <laughs> which just sounds super dirty and mean. And I'm adding it to the loop idea so far. And you can hear it bouncing up and down a little bit there. I'm using the Kickstart 2 uh, to give it that side chain feel. From there, uh, coming back to the Devastator library, couldn't help but feel like the track was calling me to write like a hip hop beat to it, which isn't totally unconventional for trailer music, but I haven't done anything like this yet. So it was really fun to mess around with it. So just soloing all the beat elements here. So what you're hearing there is a combination of the Breakout and the Warzone uh, Devastator libraries, as well as some loops and one shots from Splice. From there, I started to look for some interesting uh, signature sounds that I could plug into the mix. And again, coming back to Breakout because it just has so much of this stuff. It's basically like tailor-made for uh, hybrid trailer music. So I got a few layers here, which just sound like this. <laughs> So once I had the loop finished, I basically bounced everything to audio, uh, which made it really easy to kind of like chop things up a bit. And then I carved out some space to add a slew of like trailer hits, uh, whooshes, risers, effects, just adding a lot of excitement and drama to everything. But I didn't want to stop there because there's so much space to play around with still. And so the last thing I threw into this loop were some like shouts, screams, kind of siren like, you know, signature sounds. And on their own, it's going to sound weird, but they sound like this. Yeah. 
Now, one of those is from Splice. The rest is, you know, just from uh, Breakout, I think. So these are kind of playing with the space that I've cut out at the end of every second bar, as well as, you know, there's kind of a, a push and pull from the other signature sounds in the mix. Everything combined. It sounds pretty mean. Then I basically worked backwards. This might be kind of like an unconventional way to work on a trailer, but uh, it worked for me in this case. I also finally had an excuse to use some libraries that I purchased around Black Friday last year and still haven't had a chance uh, to put them to any good use, especially the sound paint stuff. So I'm kind of obsessed with sound paint um, and I've been meaning to incorporate more of it into my tracks and actually been meaning to do like a proper video um, about sound paint. But I recently picked up the, the DuneScape library and I just can't get enough of some of these, uh, these pad patches uh, that come with the DuneScape library. They're so cool. And I'm using this uh, in the intro specifically. And it just works wonders for this like super ambient uh, dark intro. Another library I just, I'm really loving right now and it really came to good use for the intro here as well is Nightfall. Big shout out to Realitone. I love this library. I love the way this reveal patch sounds. Definitely made use of that in the intro here. Also use the Sound Paint Commodore 64 library for this creeping bass pad here. Sound Paint also has, um, you know, this great library full of cinematic Brahms and like hits, which is where I sourced this from. I also use the Eric Whitaker Choir from Spitfire Audio. Definitely do not use that library enough and it was really expensive, so I'm glad I found an excuse uh, to do it for this intro. So a few sounds from Nightfall, uh, a few sounds from Sound Paint, uh, some simple booms from uh, Devastator Warzone, and I'm just kind of slowly building some ambience here. <laughs> Coming into the build-up section uh, from the intro, it's basically just kind of like the climactic section light, but I threw in a few extra goodies, especially from the uh, Arturia CS80. I used a bit of Scarbo from Teletone, introducing the Colossus Keys patch here and the percussion. <laughs> And then coming back into a breakdown section and then finally into the full developed uh, loop like you heard earlier. It took a while to glue the sections uh, together, get everything volume balanced, and I'm not sure I'm 100% on this mix, but uh, here's what I got for now. I'll play it back for you. Enjoy.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Do all the things. But what I'd really love is to hear from you in the comments. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've written any trailer music yet this year or if you plan to. Also, I'd like to just give a quick shout out to Artlist for hooking me up with a subscription to Artlist Max. Uh, that's where I'm sourcing all of uh, that cool footage I use to highlight the finished track. They've really got everything you need uh, if you're like a content creator uh, like myself. And I'll add a link to Artlist Max in the description below as well. In the meantime, wishing you all happy composing and I'll see you next time. See ya.